few summers ago, my old phone of two years began ringing. I had a new one, but my old one rang. I had to dig through my closet to even find it. A private number was calling the phone. I answered it, thinking it could have been an old friend who didn't have my new number yet. But it was a man with a strange accent I didn't recognize. He knew my name, knew my story, knew where I lived, etc. I was genuinely worried, so I asked him how he got all this information. He said we had met the night before at a house party, which I was at one, but I was with my friends and I wasn't even drunk, I remember the whole night. We went back and forth for a few minutes, when he told me to meet him down by the river in five minutes and hung up. I knew exactly where he meant. I'm not usually easily intimidated, but this had me panicking. I asked my friends who went to the party with me if they were playing a prank, and they told me they were being serious about it not being them. I knew they were being genuine too because they all offered to show up to the river with me to see who it was. There were five of us that went. We pulled up at a distance and slowly started walking to the spot described over the phone. It was dark and hard to see anything, but on the other side of the riverbank we could all see a white van with tinted windows parked on the side of the road. It wasn't on, but it was still weird because no one ever parked here. There was no reason to, there was nothing nearby. We started walking up to it, and that's when the engine started and the headlights turned on. We all turned, running into a field where it couldn't follow us. Did this have anything to do with the phone call? I can't be sure, but I personally think it did. I recently listed my PS3 for sale on Craigslist. It came with a ton of games, and I wasn't asking for much, so I got calls all the time. This time, I got a call in the complete dead of night. It was like 3.30 a.m. when I woke up to my ringtone. Yeah, I would get a lot of calls, but I had never gotten one this late in the night before. I was still half asleep when I picked up the phone. Immediately, this normal sounding guy started talking to me. He said he was calling about the PS3 I listed and offered something crazy like $5 for the whole thing. I mumbled something about how that was way too low. It went silent for a few seconds when out of nowhere this text-to-speech robotic sounding voice started listing off extremely personal information, way more than what was public on my Craigslist account. It listed where I lived, the school I went to, the car I drove, the names of all my family members, and a lot of other stuff. I sat up panicked and hung up the phone. I got an immediate call back from the number, but this time I didn't answer. Just something about the way it switched from a normal sounding guy to all of a sudden a text to speech voice still freaks me out. Thankfully nothing else ever happened. I have no idea how this guy was able to get my personal information. This happened when I was 13 and home alone. I got a phone call. I was greeted with a man's voice. Hi, I sell security systems. Are your parents home? I replied saying no. Does your house have a security system? Again, I said no because it didn't. Okay. The phone line went dead. I quickly realized my mistake and checked the locks on all the doors and windows. After I made sure everything was locked, I grabbed a kitchen knife and locked myself in my bedroom. My bedroom had a window that faced outside the front of the house. I live in a cul-de-sac, but since it was a work day, none of my neighbors were home. Still, there was a car I didn't recognize parked down the road. I called the cops and kept my eyes on it while I waited for them to show up. Suddenly, a man ran out of a bush just in front of our house and towards the car. He got in and immediately drove off. I saw all of it. When police arrived, I told them about the man and showed them the bush he was hiding in. The bush was just under our house's dining room window. There were clear marks of someone trying to break into it. I was in my early teenage years and had just recently gotten my first phone. I got a call from an unknown caller. Nowadays, I'm much more cautious in answering these, but back then I didn't fully understand the concept of phones and answered to pretty much anyone that called. I picked up and instantly didn't recognize the voice. It sounded like an older man. 
I said, who is this? To which he responded, why do you want to know? I didn't answer because I thought it was some kind of joke or prank call. He suddenly broke the silence saying, I can see you. I responded with something like, nice try, but that's not very original. Just then, I began to hear a train going by. My house is right next to a set of train tracks, and I swear, over the phone, I could hear the same sound of a train passing in the background. As it got closer, the sound got louder in the phone. I panicked and hung up. Nothing further ever happened. This was either a huge coincidence, or I really was being stalked. Around 30 years ago, I was lying in bed trying to fall asleep beside my wife who had fallen asleep a few hours before. It was lightly raining outside, which helped me get to that state of half awake, half asleep, when the phone on the nightstand just beside me started ringing. I slowly sat up and picked up the receiver to determine if it was a fluke or an actual call. Stuff like that used to happen back then. I put the phone to my ear and sat in silence as I listened. It was just white noise, until eventually I could make out two voices, two female voices. They were talking about a murder that had just occurred. I remember one of them going on about how they couldn't believe they had really just done it. This was followed by the other telling her to quote get out of there before the police arrived. They continued talking like this for a while as I just sat there still trying to process what I was hearing. Suddenly, one of the two asked the other if they heard someone else on the line, and with that, I hung up. I still don't know how something like this could have even happened. Maybe it was a prank call, back before prank calls were even really a thing. I told my wife about it the following morning. It was my first time staying home alone, while my whole family was out at my brother's baseball game. I was 13. I was on the phone with a friend of mine when someone beeped in on the other line. I told her I'd be right back and clicked over lines. I gave a hello. There was a laugh and then the words, I'm downstairs in your basement right now. Honestly, I just shook it off and hung up thinking it was a prank call. Our neighborhood was pretty safe and so I figured it had to have been someone just messing with me. I resumed talking with my friend when they beeped in again, so I again clicked over. This time I was met with much more aggression. The voice said something about how I shouldn't have hung up on him and how he was coming upstairs. Suddenly the lights downstairs started flickering and there was a banging under my feet. My dog ran to the corner of the living room. Now our basement was actually just an area connected to the garage, it wasn't finished. I heard what sounded like footsteps coming up the garage stairs that led into our kitchen, accompanied by yelling. I kept trying to hang up and call the cops, but every time I tried, he was still on the phone. I managed to switch back to the line with my friend and told her to get her parents to call the police. I sat in a locked bedroom on the main floor, horrified, quietly crying, waiting for them to arrive. They finally showed up, by which point the man was gone. There was no sign of forced entry, though the window on our outside garage door had been broken for months prior, and my guess is he used that to get in. My family was ultimately skeptical, as police couldn't really come up with any solid evidence that this had actually happened. We did end up getting a security camera and fixed our garage window not too long after that though, but I still don't know if they truly believed me or not. This was back when I still had an old slider phone. One day I got a random call asking for some girl named Sarah. I didn't even know a Sarah, so I told them they had the wrong number, to which they hung up without saying another word. For the next few months, I would get these same calls asking for Sarah maybe once or twice a week, sometimes at absurd hours in the night. This one time I got a call. Like usual, I said I didn't know Sarah. They hung up but this time I went to my contacts and hit redial. After I did this, I was met with the robotic voice saying the number did not exist. I went back through my call history and tried calling some of the other numbers that had called me, with the same result. The next time I got a call asking for Sarah, I said, Oh yeah, she's right here. The person on the other end didn't hang up right away, but instead said, 
No, she isn't. And the line went dead. After this, I started getting calls now from unknown numbers. This time, there was no voice asking for Sarah. It was just silence until I said something, then they would hang up. The creepiest one I ever got was the time they didn't hang up right away after I said hello. I could hear someone on the other end, breathing, but not saying anything. There was just something really uneasy about all these calls. It caused me to get a new phone, after which I stopped getting the weird calls. I still don't know who this Sarah was, or why I kept getting calls about her. I was home alone by myself in my basement bedroom. I was playing games late into the night. It was like 3am when our house's landline started ringing. I didn't pick it up. It rang several more times, and finally the voicemail picked up as I was walking up the stairs to finally answer it. I would have dismissed it as a prank call if it hadn't been for the voice. It was shaky and raspy. It felt real. I was frozen in place halfway up the stairs listening to it. The voice was trying to get me to pick up the phone, saying things like I would regret it if I didn't. Finally it ended, and I prayed that it wouldn't ring again. It did. The person left several more voicemails. They started out timid and shaky, but got more aggressive. It continued with, if you don't give me what I want, I'm going to have to hurt you, and I need to get what you owe me, I'm coming for you right now. At the end of each of them, the dial tone went off, and it went staticky as the voice broke into sobs. They kept calling and calling. This experience truly disturbed me. I mean, imagine being home alone in the middle of the night and hearing this voice coming from an upstairs phone. Nothing ever came of it though, and so I never told anyone else about it.